Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Paradox, and welcome to 2020. Welcome. I thought I've got a bunch of these games for Christmas. I got loads. There were so many I wanted to do, but I started them and I didn't know what to do. I got some random Ubisoft player thing. Um, there were so many that I wanted to do. Uh, like, I've got Star Wars, I've got God of War I wanted to do. There's. Far Cry Division 2, Rage 2, there's so many stuff, but I thought I'd do Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, see how, uh, see people that want to see this, or you want to see any other games, please let me know. Um, but this year is going to be a crazy year for gaming, I will try and get them videos out for you guys, I promise. But yeah, uh, it's crazy, my channel actually started with Assassin's Creed, and here we are. Uh, well, that's, uh, I hope you found Assassin's Creed, I was a big fan of Assassin's Creed 3, I thought it was really good. Uh, and yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, before I do anything, just make sure I have... Oh god, I bring so many memories back, dude. Let's put a six. So tiles on. Oh god, guys, I so many memories back. There's the DLC, I'm known for the DLC, but here we are. Let's go! Assassin's Creed 3 from Acid. And here we go. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be, when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance, 
to this long-lost place. Armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio, he holds in his hands the Apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Thirty first of October. We're here. Let's go. Here we are guys. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. I think we're here.
key. You must find the key. Son? Sir? Here we go again. Desmond? Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's... talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. A green icon is the solution. Or interaction. Walk to the marker. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Yeah, guys, if you do want more, let me know. They made a few changes there, the mini map's a lot different. That was never there initially, I don't think. The Rang and Tower. your way through this little obstacle course. Free run to the marker. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. All you have to do here is jump the gap. This brings us so many memories. Find out what the temple wants from you. Right away. I love the textures of the animus. It's always so cool seeing it like fall into place. Sir. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Deadly performance. Hey guys, if you'd like one more, like and subscribe. Invitation, please. Covent shall Garden, 1754.
Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. My apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. So is mine. Like me too, he accidentally... I already have. Both against those and for them. For it is but fitting that we should protect and encourage cheats, since we live by them. So, lack more... Reginald Birch. See me where I recognise the voice actor? I do. Oh, you might recognise him as a uh, Gideon a from College of Advanced Warfare. My apologies. <laughs> Just shows like guy back in the sea. <laughs> and it's a secluded area to climb. I'm sure a lot of people actually will see him, but you know, doesn't matter. the royal box find a way backstage uh the famous pick clocking god damn it Is up.
You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. You scream, no. Ah. Exit the offer. Come, please. Over there. Back from the hole. That man there. Seize him. Whatever has happened? A man was killed. But, uh, in the uh, I've done no wrong. I, I swear. Search him. Any weapons? I beg your pardon. Did you notice anyone oh, saying this thing could have that good? Please, please, please. please. Oh, 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 please. Oh,
There we go, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Famous shanties. Some fresh air might do me good. Alright guys, that's going to call it, uh, but uh, thanks for part 1, if you do want to see more, let me know for part 2, and yeah, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all in the next one, bye for now.